Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to another RMA Fire tutorial. And this is a redo of an old tutorial that I did that was not very well explained or recorded. And I want to apologize for all of you guys that took the time to check it out. And just my 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 level of tutorials was not not great, you know. So this is something that I've been working on, and I hope that you'll find my explanation today as well as the audio and the quality of the video much much better all right so without further ado this is where what i showed you guys last time and in this tutorial i'm just gonna be creating it from scratch so here's it how you draw a curve it can be any curve and we have the camera follow it inside of houdini first off we're gonna create the camera path so let's just name this camera path in this camera path, uh, if you hit the C on your on your viewport, you can change the color. So let's come here and draw. So we're gonna draw our curve, and I want this projection to be on the um, let's see Z X axis, and I'm gonna hit the space bar, and then number two, so that I can visualize my. Um, Visualize this where I'm gonna draw the curve from the top So you hit spacebar on your viewport and of course You can do this curve any way you want, you know, there's tons of ways of doing curves space and one to go back to the um, regular viewport and now Let me just uh, position myself in a good place I'll just, I just want to clean it up a little bit, so I'm just uh, going to do a convert. Let's see if we do nerves, and let's just do a resample. So that we can control the way the points are being distributed here a little bit better. You know, like that, it's kind of... And let's do a convert to just make sure that this is uh, polygons. Drop down on all. And we're going to say this is our out camera path. Make this red. Come back here. And now we're going to draw our null. And the null, just like it was before, I'm going to name this path null. So this is the null that will be following this curve. Now we want to use a camera, we're going to place a camera right here, and then we're going to um, connect this to, because this is the camera cam that we're going to use to render, okay? Just want to make sure that this one's turned off so it doesn't confuse us. So now let's come back, let's, let's select our null, now let's go inside of our null. And what we want to do here is write down chop network. And we're gonna come inside our chops and we're gonna type um, constraint get world space. Constraint get world space is the node that we're gonna use here. And object. So we're gonna select the object that, that we want the constraint. Um, to reference and that's gonna be my camera path all right so we're gonna select our camera path here which is if we hit here is gonna take us to our camera path actually it's path null sorry guys so that's why I usually double check when I so path null path null is the path null that we created here so inside our chops we want the get wor get uh, constraint wall space to be referenced in the null and then we're gonna um, add path constraint path follow path all right sorry guys we're gonna connect this to the first input and then on our constraints we're gonna select first our sub path and this is gonna be inside of our sub camera path out camera path and if we come here to the camera path that's literally the null 
uh, that like references the camera path that we created at the beginning of the tutorial. So now we have the camera path set up. So we're gonna select it right here. We want to make sure that we are using a long path, an up vector, and now we need to um, set up the position part of the, you know, the position part here. So in order to set up the position, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come here to this little thing and that add parameter interface. In the parameter interface, I'm gonna grab a float value and drag it onto the root here. And let's, um, let's pull it all the way up. So let's just move this all the way up the chain here. Come on. Come on. Okay. I'm just gonna put it up here. And basically for you guys that don't know what I'm doing, right here, uh, the translate is referencing this transfer. So this is gonna create a new parameter that I'm gonna label it right here on the top. So on the, on the name, we're gonna say pause, pause for position number two. And we're gonna label this position. This can literally be any name that you want. And then I'm gonna enable the range. So it goes from zero to 10 and I'm gonna hit apply, accept. And as you can see, now we have a position here, but this position doesn't do anything. What we wanna do is we wanna copy parameter and we're gonna go back into the chop network. And in here, we're in the position, we're gonna right click and say paste relative reference. All right, so, so far so good. Um, and let's come out again. And let's see if it works. Of course, it's not working because we need to do the last part of the puzzle, which is enabling the constraints. And in here, we want to say, we want to enable the constraints, but from the chop network that we created. So let's come here, constraint path, accept. And as you can see now, now it's working. So what you can do is instead of chops, come here and drop down one more null and say, out path or whatever you want to call it you want to put your flag here come out of there and select out path except and now you will see that your camera is following the curve that you created and yeah that's it guys like you could even animate this like control click it go to the end of the timeline and let's see we are going to go all the way up to, to the end. So just zero to one. All right, zero to one goes all the way around. Like if you want to change the value that it goes in, remember we created it in edit parameter interface. So you can, you can control the range here. So zero to one. Oops, I messed it up. So we could just tweak that range inside of edit parameter interface. Let's see zero to one. Well, it looks like it doesn't like it when I change it. Let's see position plus two. Position, enable the range, zero to one, apply, accept, copy parameter, and once again, just to be safe, I'm gonna delete, paste relative reference, come back out here, zero to one, and you can see that our camera goes from zero to one. So cam render, let's visualize it here. Boom, and now we have like a moving camera. And uh, yeah, imagine the possibilities, guys. Um, I'm gonna clean up this rig and make it available for you guys for free. And I'll be back with more. Thank you for watching.